Hi. Welcome to Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. This edition, we'll be looking at my plugin called Analyze Harmonic Intervals. This plugin does just that. It analyzes any two note chord. Sibelius is very good at coming up with worksheets for music teachers and students if they wish to practice outside of class. Um, but it only provides answer sheets to worksheets that Sibelius creates. So if you were to have, oh say, one of your teachers give you uh, a worksheet that they created, you'd have no way of creating an answer sheet using Sibelius. Well, to make theory teachers and theory students' lives a little bit easier, I've come up with a plugin that will automatically analyze harmonic intervals. This might seem a little bit like cheating to students out there, but use it wisely, use it as an educational tool, and those music teachers out there who think all their students are going to cheat, think about the time you might save in correcting their homework using this application. So let's look at how we can utilize this plugin. So here I have a score created actually by uh, a user who requested this plugin. Uh, in this score we have a number of different types of intervals. You can see this one right here. We have a minor sixth, but you wouldn't know that unless you went to theory school or you had this plugin. So let's select an interval. Let's start with the minor six. Let's go to our plugins. Wherever you've installed this plugin, I've installed it in my finished plugins. Go to Analyze Harmonic Intervals, created by yours truly. Let it run. It tells you the number of intervals it's analyzed. It's been one because we've only selected one. Hit All Right, and there you go. It puts the name of the interval below it. Now let's try a larger selection. Let's undo that for a moment. Why don't we select the entire score? Go to our plugins. Go to Analyze Harmonic Intervals. Let it run. We had 42 intervals analyzed in this uh, instance. Let's check them out and see if they're all all right. This is indeed an augmented second, an augmented fourth, the minor six we saw earlier. Here's an interesting interval, an augmented unison. Uh, they do occur. Uh, much easier to analyze with the plug-in than uh, with your own, your own mind. Here's another interesting interval, diminished third, a diminished fourth. Um, everything else is pretty much normal. You can see how quickly that did it. There's no errors. And in essence, your theory homework is complete. It's that simple. Now let's look at another score that was developed by the same uh, user who requested this plugin. We called them curveball intervals, actually, um, because they're much more complicated and unusual intervals. Look at this. We have uh, a B natural going to a B double flat. Now it would take you a moment to think about what that is, but by simply using the plugin, you already have it. Now, this interval is very peculiar because it's a diminished unison. It's actually a doubly diminished unison, as you can see. But when the plugin recognizes that there's some type of diminished unison, you'll get this note. It reads, please note, the difference between an augmented unison and a diminished unison is a topic of theoretical debate. In Sibelius, it relies on the order of accidentals. Some argue there is no such thing as a harmonic diminished unison, yet many texts will teach of its existence. Make sure to check all diminished and augmented unisons. Now, what that means is simply, can an augmented or diminished unison really exist? Well, an augmented unison certainly can because um, the distance from the bottom note to the top note can be an augmented unison, but a diminished unison really cannot exist harmonically because the lowest note cannot be below the lowest note. <laughs> um, 
our diminished unison really only occurs melodically. But in Sibelius, the order of accidentals actually denotes what the lowest note is. So we have a natural going to a double flatted. So Sibelius seems to believe that the B natural is the lowest note and the B double flat is above it. So we have a note that shows up every time this happens. Additionally, every diminished unison or doubly or triply or quadruply diminished unison is colored green so that the user is aware of this discrepancy. So let's run this plugin on the entire score here. Let me undo what we did. Select it all. Go to our plugins again. Let's go to Analyze Harmonic Intervals. Now we have two diminished unisons. Let's see where they were. There's one. And there's another. In fact, they're the same exact type, a natural going to a doubly flatted. Um, there's also some other peculiars, a doubly diminished eighth, uh, a doubly augmented unison, and a doubly augmented eighth. As you can see, it's much easier to use this plugin than to rely on your own wits to complete your theory homework. Hopefully, in the process, you will learn these intervals, and it will make your life and your theory teachers' lives much simpler. Thank you for watching this episode, and feel free to contact me. My username is the Music Transcriber, and you can get in contact with me. Oops. Let's just type it here for you at Music Transcriber at yahoo.com